contemporary thinking that spasticity is a motor disorder in presence of upper motor neuron lesion like stroke made me very skeptical in my experience spasticity is a motor solution in self defense to restrict and refrain body center of mass within safety limits of base of support spasticity is spinal plasticity wherein interlimb knowledge and interlimb sensations helps to group many paratic muscles together invariantly to make limbs to move towards the central axis to refrain the center of mass to remain within narrow base of support from poor loading i wondered if cerebellum switch off results in silence anticipatory control especially when paratic muscles cannot control the center of mass safety and is controlled exclusively by good side of the body retaining it on the good side of the spine i also could not stop thinking if brain used feedback control to compensate for safety a priority not with feet forward anticipation but as a feedback reflex reaction now let us see consequences of uninterrupted use of the good body for postural safety and for voluntary control uninterrupted use of good body makes the good body a leader that support balance and propel body all the time which makes paratic body a follower all the time brain exploits spinal plasticity wherein spinal motor neurons on the paratic side of the spine adapt to follow the good body side with interlimb knowledge and interlimb sensation when good side leads all the time when good body is leading all the time and the paratic body is following all the time brain takes some measures to make it easy and economical to continue to lead without exchange of dominance between two sides while walking climbing and during postural change brain orders contracture in connective tissue and in large fascia called thoracolumbar fascia that houses many large paratic muscles of trunk contracture in thoracolumbar fascia helps to bind two sides of the body to functionally act as one unit so that good body can easily tow paratic body latissimus muscle on paratic side being automatically connected to the gluteus maximus on the good side makes latissimus to begin to contract and shorten when the patient is trained to walk this is easily seen with naked eye with drooping of shoulder and torso easy to understand that latissimus shortens at every step taken to walk it pulls arm in adduction with its insertion on the humerus that prevents the arm swing in my clinical experience early walking training wherein patient uses the gluteal muscle from his good leg this pulls on the latissimus on the paratic side being anatomically connected to it every step taken may 
pull latissimus constantly to trigger contracture and spasticity unless and until paretic side is made able to control the center of mass automatically from within. We have seen that despite several hours of gait training, swing in the arm is not restored. Rather, it makes arm kiss and hug abdomen and may even hug chest making movements to reach out in space difficult. In my clinical experience, switching on the cerebellum is critical to re-reorganize the self-organized brain for voluntary control to emerge as a byproduct and for pre-morbid gait to emerge automatically. I started to think and rethink and think again and again about how to switch on the cerebellum. I made paretic segments of the body become part of specially designed posture wherein good body and gravity are capitalized to cause guarded disequilibrium and re-equilibrium such that paretic body must act here and now in self-safety a priority. Repeating this here and now strategy to control local center of mass and global center of mass using paretic segments resulted in complete disappearance of spasticity. This proved that the way to go is to switch on the cerebellum. To switch on the cerebellum, one must exploit proprioceptors from paretic muscles and joints to make proprioceptive rain shower as in a rainforest to make avalanche in descending postural motor tracks to make muscles to contract in anticipation for stability and safety thus get them stronger from within bombarding the cerebellum with consistent input from anterior and posterior spinocerebellar tract repeated time and again coupled with exploitation of graviceptors and proprioceptors in specially designed postures is crucial to re-reorganize self-organized brain. It is necessary to make paretic body segments responsible for local center of mass safety and global center of mass safety to put stroke patient on the road to true recovery of loss control without compensation and without development of spasticity. Spasticity can be defined as tonic stretch reflex contraction or feedback contraction in self-safety against gravity when feet forward anticipatory postural motor circuits in the brain stem gets silent from cerebellar switch off. Spasticity is not a motor disorder but is a motor solution wherein brain exploits spinal plasticity to group many paretic muscles together to restrict segmental center of mass from running out of safety limits of base of support and restricts it in self-defense by resisting movement away from central axis. The reason I am publishing this on the YouTube is that I would like to help all stroke victims suffering from spasticity in this world to get liberated from spasticity and live good quality of life 
with true recovery of loss control that prevents compensation. You can approach Raju Lwasa Foundation at OFF at the rate rvfindia.org. You will get all the help all for free. If you wonder why do I do this for free, then please note that I do not want money to be the barrier for anyone from reaching me. I wish that quality of life of all brain injured in the world improves so much that they can fulfill their dreams and live happily, independently, without handicap and without dependency. Thank you.